What if adding crypto payments was as simple as an HTTP response? That's X402 protocol. In this video, we will dive deep into what X402 is and how to set it up in your app. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Adding payments to your app is harder than it looks. Developers must juggle with KYCs, open authorizations, payment APIs, and handling webhooks just to get paid. It's a ton of friction and overhead, which is exactly why Web has reserved a status code 402 payment required. Ever seen HTTP 402 payment required? Probably not. It was defined decades ago as a placeholder for digital cash payments, but never used. A dormant status code sleeping in the HTTP spec. The toolkit sign sat there for years until now. Coinbase has revived the long unused 402 status code with a new protocol, X402. This internet native payment protocol turns payment required into reality, enabling instant crypto payments like USDT stablecoins directly over HTTP. So what does that X402 handshake looks like in practice? Let's see how it works. It works in five simple steps. The first step is where the client requests resources from a server where a client will send a request to request or access a asset or a resource on a server. And after that, the server will respond with a 402 error code along with the payment instructions. It will send 402 payment required error code and instructions to pay so that the requested resource can be accessed. In the third step, the client will make the payment. Then after that, in the fourth step, the client will retry that same original request, but now with the proof of payment, which will go under the X payment HTTP header, and it will contain the signature of the payment, which will act as the proof for the payment. Now, in the fifth step, the server will verify the proof of payment sent by the client and after verification, it will send the HTTP 200 OK response along with the requested resource. Now, when that payment arrives, someone still needs to verify if the payment was made. That's where Coinbase's X402 facilitator comes in. Coinbase operates a hosted X402 facilitator service that handles payment verification and on-chain settlement. Whenever a client attaches signed payment payload to a request, Using X payment header, the facilitator verifies the payload signature and details, then settles the transaction on blockchain. The current Coinbase X402 facilitator supports USDC on base and doesn't charge for any extra fees. The users pay the exact amount and the sellers get the full amount paid. Now, with the payment part handled, what does this unlock for builders? Micropayments and on-demand access becomes easy. Imagine API monetization where charging per API call or per data query without forcing subscription becomes possible. Another scenario could be agents paying agents. Autonomous AI services buying information or triggering action by paying each other. All of this is possible because of X402 which made payment required finally a reality and X402 is emerging as an open source standard for the web. Coinbase and Cloudflare and others even have formed a X402 foundation to drive the adoption. This isn't a proprietary tech. Anyone can implement or extend X402. It's a community-driven protocol, not tied to any single provider. To learn more, check out x402.org. Now let's see how you can actually implement X402 in your app. All right, here we have a X402 paywall demo where a video content is hidden behind a paywall. So unless someone pays 0.10 USDC on base Sepolia, they cannot access the video. So let's see what happens when we click the button to access the video. So once we click the button, you can see that we have gotten 402 payment required error from the app and these are the payment details so basically we have to pay to this address and we have to pay this much usdc on base sepolia 
and this is basically the asset address which is the usdc's address on base sepolia so if we go to the code this is the environment variable where we have the wallet address which is supposed to receive the fund already mentioned or hard coded and uh, then the node environment is variable and we are just mentioning the port on which the app will be running. You can find the code used linked in the description below. In the index.html, we have just the basic stuff which you can see on the screen over here and then we have a button over here. So the button when clicked basically goes to the authenticate route which goes to index.js in the API directory. We have a payment middleware declared over here, which handles the payment where we have the receiving address, the route map and the facilitators URL. So basically this is who gets paid. These are the details of what needs to pay it and where it needs to be paid. And this is the one who verifies it. Now, once the payment is made, we go to this part where it will authenticate if the payment has been made and if the payment has been made, we will be redirected to video content path, which will access the video access handler and make the video available to the user via this file video access handler. So you can see it fetches the content from video content .html, which is this part. So it will access this video over here. So it's as simple as that. You do not need to set up any wallet SDKs. You do not need to handle any kind of payment you just route your payment via the x402 facilitator now let's see that in action let's connect our wallet and make the payment so once the payment is made the video can be accessed so this is how you can integrate x402 payments into your app it's very simple so if you want to learn more about X402, check out the guide linked under the video and do check out the X402 Ruby gems to help with your Ruby development. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.